One more excerpt in the third movement. Um, remember how I mentioned how there are motivic things that show up in movements that are going to apply later? Well, here we have a passage from the fourth movement, really, where the harmonies seem otherworldly. The harmonies themselves. We, we, go to a, we go to really foreign keys. We go to C flat major, which is almost academic. Musicians would think of it as B major, which is a little easier to spell, we say. Why choose C flat major? It's, it's a key that if you're playing it, you have to think about every note. You know, like, am I spelling that right? C flat is not, we, we don't, why not just call it a B, we'd say as musicians. But he purposely spells it in this way that makes you have to think about it a little more. And the, the music becomes very earnest and the harmonies become really strange sounding. And so here's a passage, very slow and drawn, like I said, very horizontal, but it just sounds like uh, uh, it's from another galaxy. <laughs> The finale of the Beethoven Ninth Symphony is, is a, a, a place in music history that's all its own. It's, it's certainly the piece we know most. But if you asked, how does it begin or what does it have about it, you'd say it's the Ode to Joy. It's one of Beethoven's simpler tunes ever. It could be played by a child, sung by a child. It's very square. It's almost march-like. It's in four, ya, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You know, it's not a, you know, gigantic melody with chromaticism or complex rhythms or anything like that. It's really a ch a, a, something of a children's tune. Now, after all, Beethoven was collecting all of humanity. This is the Schiller poem about our collective humanity. He starts it with the ugliest music of all in the whole symphony. It's super dissonant, it's loud, it hammers you, uh, and it's so jarring. It, when I first heard it, I thought, this is unnecessary, because we just heard the third movement, and the third movement is this, you know, wonderful spinning, weaving thing that makes you just feel like you've been, you know, ascended. And then he, he clobbers you with this hideous music at the beginning of the finale. 